Hi, Kelly here from Cochrane Toyota. We're located at 8 River Heights Drive, Cochrane, Alberta. And today I've got a 2019 SE Corolla hatchback to show you. So this guy was an enterprise rental buyback. So again, they do these things for a little less than a year, um, about 20,000 K on it. And then we buy them back from them. So again, nice little package. This is the SE upgrade. So you got a lot of cool features in this guy. Um, I'll run through as many as I can, but you're getting a great little car. This is what the Matrix turned into. Um, they call them the Corolla because that's you know, kind of the nameplate that they've always gone with. And overall, uh, pretty much the same car as, as, as the original Matrix. So up front, you're gonna notice a couple of things um, right from the get-go is they got the LED strips you can see on the side there. They give you a nice bright daytime running light in there. You got three of them across there, there, and there. It gives it a really cool looking um, daytime appearance. You also have the radar adaptive cruise control right up front. So this guy's gonna keep you from uh, having to adjust your, your cruise control. It just automatically does that for you. And if you happen to be missing the person in front of you slamming on the brakes, that'll take you down to um, 50k an hour and shut off for you. Where this guy is your adaptive, um, not adaptive, sorry, this is your lane departure and anti-collision. So this little camera right there is going to be looking for the lines in the road to keep you with an audible beep if you do get uh, off-road, but it also looks for people, animals, and things like that, and will take you to a dead stop if it deems that you're gonna hit it. So really cool little car. Lots of safety features in these things. Toyota Safety Plus now has become very, very um, thorough. Real safe cars. This does have a smart key, so you can put it in your pocket, um, open up everything without having to grab that key. First off, this is the hatchback, so lots of cool little things in there. As you notice, we got um, the second set of floor mats in there for you. Underneath here, you're gonna have some storage and your full set of tires, uh, full spare tire. You do have tie downs in here to help with uh, tying things down if you need to store some stuff. You do have child seat anchors, your triple child seat anchors. So you have three of them. This is removable, this tonneau cover. So if you wanna have some more space in there, you can definitely do that. Jump inside here. One of the nice things about the hatchbacks is when you fold down these seats, you do get an incredible amount of space in there. So lots of room to throw things in there, but you can toss this back up. And then you do have your third, or your anchors right here um, along with that. So you have two really easy child seat anchors in there and the third one would go in the seat. And then you do have a, a, a cup holders here as well. Lots of cool features in there. And again, soft touch everywhere. That's one of the nice things about these new Toyotas is they've got a lot of cool little features. Now with the smart key, I can lock with the button right here. It's not even a button, it's just got a, it's a, a sensor. And then if I reach in behind, it automatically unlocks the doors. I can set it to open up all the doors or just that door, depending on what you feel is safest. And again, if you look at these, the trim of these guys, they did a good job of them. So counter stitching in there, soft touch everywhere, um, piano black piece there, and then your power mirrors, power doors, power locks, your lock out button to keep people in the back from annoying you, and then your um, power mirrors there as well. So this guy does have power lumbar support and then manual the rest of the seat. So it gets lots of space, lots of ways to get this seat super comfortable. If you take a peek at it, it is basically a new seat still. And real comfortable, these things are like a sport version of the seat, but still lots of room to sit in. In the side here, you're gonna have a few extra options. You've got your dimming switch for your dash, automatic headlights. Um, you set this little guy here to auto, push it forward, press that button. You don't have to worry about um, messing with your headlights all the time, does it automatically for you. You do have your um, telescoping steering wheel, so you pull this down, you can move it forward or back, up and down. Heated windshield wipers, so you don't need to worry about icing them up. I'll jump inside, show you a couple other options before I get rained on. Being the smart key, it does have the push button start, but we'll start with the dash. Full leather wrap steering wheel. Let me see if I can back up just a bit. There you go. Full leather wrap steering wheel. A lot of cool little functions on this guy. So really nice um, spot to kind of hold on to here. The back actually has a space where you can hold on to like that. It's pretty nice. On this side, you do have your cruise control. So your cruise control settings right there. Your radar cruise, which will set um, to three different settings for you, close, medium, and far and then your lane um, departure. So you can turn it on and off from here. In the settings and there, you can actually adjust the sensitivity of this. I'm a little bit of a wandering driver, so this is one that I turn the sensi sensitivity way down. Uh, but if you're on the highway or something like that and you're doing long drive, it's nice to have. 
mode is going to be your music. I can adjust the music here and um, change this the, the station, change volume control here, um, and then this is going to control that little guy back there. Um, and you've got your telephone here as well. So Bluetooth everything. Speaking of which, you do have a USB charger in here. Nice soft text um, piece in there and then a 12 volt, the old school guy right there for you. Cup holders, really nice and deep. And then there's not a whole heck of a lot for you to get dirty in there. Easy to clean. Um, this is gonna be your digital um, e-brake right there. So as I turn the car on, I'll show you. That automatically puts the e-brake on for me. When I put the vehicle in drive, I'll turn that off. When I put the vehicle into drive, you'll see that light comes off. If I press this button, that's gonna be, um, when I come up to a stop sign, I don't have to hold the brake. It will automatically hold the brake for me. When I come to a stop sign, I can just let the, the gas go and it'll stop at a spot for me. We'll go into the screen if I can get it there for you. So outside temperature gauge, lane departure, I can turn that on and off right there. That's set to active there for you. I'll hit back, go back to the screen for you. So right there, you've got your trip distance, odometer, um, how long your trip has been. And if I switch over here, you got settings so I can set the sensitivity of this particular guy. Um, Pre-collision system, that's that camera I showed you at the beginning. Um, I can turn that on and off. Every time I turn the vehicle off and back on again, it will automatically set that back. Vehicle settings, lots of cool little things I can go into there for it. More settings in the dash. Language units, I can go to miles per hour. Um, those kinds of details right from there. I'll switch over. Uh, messages, anything the car is trying to tell me will pop up there for it. Um, this is gonna give you your eco reading, so how well you're doing on fuel economy, those kinds of details. Uh, this is a, a radar crew, so if I go to drive here, you can see there, it's the different ranges for you. So long, medium, and short. Um, right from there, I'll pop this back into drive. And start going through some of the more settings there for you. So lots of cool little things in this guy. I mean, play around, make sure that it uh, is customized to you. In here, we've got the sport shifting mode. Now I've got another light source. I can't see it right there, but sport shifting. So I can go manual, um, different drive modes. And I do have paddle shifters on either side here. So up and down gears. If I don't want to use that guy, I can go through there. Right in here is going to be my sport mode. That's my electronic throttle, my... Um, I can change it to a little bit more sporty to give it a little bit more response on that. Traction control settings right there. And then underneath there, I've got my um, heated seats for both both passenger driver. And then a nice soft storage space for my phone in there. This is definitely big enough to fit a big phone. I tested it before I did the video. Inside here, I've got my um, climate control settings. Lots of different deals. And again, eco mode is a nice little touch. You can set it to a certain temperature and it'll automatically do it for you at the lowest um, power usage, so you're not pulling as much gas. So for those of you out there looking for absolute best fuel economy settings, there's lots of little functions in here for you to set that. So this is one of my, my new favorite features is that new head unit there. Um, lots of cool things in here, but again, super simple to use. If I want to register a phone, I just hit yes. It'll take me right to the right screen right off the bat and walk me through it. Um, anything you need, if you press a button like this guy over here to, to make a phone call, it'll automatically take me to the right spot every time. So if you don't have anything connected, it, it's, you don't have to go searching for it, it's right there. You've got your audio settings right there, um, AM, FM, Bluetooth, I can set all that right there. So again, lots of, lots of easy use stuff, I can set these to wherever I want to go. Go to audio, actually sorry, I'm in audio right now, if I go to menu, um, set this up. I can set up what I want the screen to look like. I can do audio settings, phone settings right from there. I can set, I want to remove phones, those kinds of details. Really easy to do from there. So again, really simple screen to use. And if you look, I really like the positioning of it. It's a nice spot. But overall, super nice little vehicles. Oh, I almost forgot one thing. Sorry, backup camera. Set right there. That red line is six inches back from the bumper. And then you can see where the um, vehicle is going to be heading to with the blue lines there for you. So really simple um, wide angle screen there and it's in the right spot for you but overall these are really cool little cars if you haven't driven one of these things with a new toyota global architecture frame these things are really really nice to drive super smooth pretty quiet um, and again soft touch everything rather than these hard plastics with stitching um, super nice little car come on down take a peek at it at cochran toyota